Hello and welcome to a new video. This is for pre-algebra using the Matthew C curriculum. We are on lesson 29, which means that we are almost done with the Matthew C workbook because there are 30 lessons. So uh, that's exciting stuff right here. This lesson is about adding and subtracting measurements and you're gonna notice some similarities to what we did when we added and subtracted both regular time and military time um, because in it, the types of units that we have here we have a mixture of units, kind of like how we had hours and minutes, and so we had to regroup based on the fact that there's 60 minutes in an hour. Here we've got things like feet and inches, where there's 12 inches in a foot, and so instead of regrouping by 10, like we normally do, we have to regroup um, for every 12 inches. It looks to me like there were three different types of measurements that Matthew C. used in its workbook for this lesson. Um, feet and inches together, pounds and ounces together, which that would be a weight, um, and yards and feet. Now, it could be that we could do this with um, all sorts of other uh, units of measurement as well, where, if, I mean, you can even actually use it with the metric system. It's just the metric system, the whole point of it is to kind of avoid having to do this sort of thing, um, where if you had meters and centimeters uh, written out together, that you would, you know, have to regroup and things like that. But basically, it just amounts to us needing to know, like, what is the point at which we regroup? Uh, and that has to do with how many of the smaller unit is in a bigger unit. So let's take a look. I've got addition here first. So we're going to take six yards, two feet, and add it to three yards, one foot. So really, you know, we could kind of think of this maybe a couple different ways, but uh, I would look at this and say, okay, well, I'll add these together. That means we've got nine yards and three feet, but it would be like, technically that's even right. That is correct. You have nine yards and three feet, but it's, I guess, kind of understood that because we're, our units are in yards and feet, we would actually rather convert things to um, as many yards as possible. So the fact that three feet is equal to one yard, we're actually going to say, okay, nine yards three feet is really 10 yards. Now if it was something bigger than three feet, like if it had been four feet, we'd have to say, okay, well that adds to our yards, but we'd still have some feet left over. Um, that should happen to us here on B, I think. So pounds and ounces, there are 12 ounces in, a, not 12, there's 16 ounces in a pound. And so when we add these together, we get 11 pounds and 18 ounces. And then we would say, okay, well, 18 ounces is too many. That means that we have a pound inside of that 18 ounces. So I'm gonna do 18 minus 16 and subtract off a pound. So that means it adds one to my pounds, so 12 pounds. And then I'd have two ounces left over. So I'm going to write two ounces. And essentially it's just like a different way of, of borrowing. Well, not borrowing. It's a different way of regrouping, carrying. That's the word. It's a different way of carrying because it's, it's not that we want to carry based on tens. We want to carry based on whatever the particular unit is. And um, I don't know if it's confusing to you that pounds is abbreviated LB. I recently looked it up actually because somebody asked um, why it wasn't it. So of, of course it has to do with like um, early on what pounds were used for, like some Latin or Greek word that was like something that had an L and a B in it. You know, that's super helpful information because I remembered it perfectly accurately. So there you go. When we're subtracting, um, we do have those same two methods we can use that we talked about with military time and with um, regular time, where you either can think of it like borrowing from the unit next to it, and that's fine, or you can also use the same difference theorem, the one that says, hey, I can add or subtract to both of these, and then um, see if that makes the problem easier. And I would say it just kind of depends on what we have, uh, because if something is close to essentially like going up to the next unit or, or down one, uh, then it does make sense to do the same difference theorem if we think of it. Otherwise, we would just want to borrow. So 
on A here, I'm actually, I'm gonna go ahead and borrow. I'm gonna say, I can't take seven inches away from five inches, so I'm gonna take one of these feet and add one foot, one foot's worth of inches to this five. So 12 plus five is 17. So 17 minus seven is 10. And then nine minus six is three. So that's three feet, 10 inches, okay? So that's one way to do it. Um, if we look at B, um, if I'm trying to decide if I think this is easier or not, I was thinking about like, well, we could subtract one ounce from this top one, but we have to also subtract an ounce from this one. Is it any easier to think eight pounds at zero ounces minus three pounds eight ounces? And that's kind of up to you because I can think, okay, well, just but just borrowing, I don't know, that turns into 16. Yeah, I don't know that that's any easier than if we had just gone ahead and borrowed right off the bat. I don't think that's a good example of using the same difference theorem. We get eight ounces and four pounds. Um, so I'm not sure that any of these actually I set up very well to do the same difference theorem now that I think about it. But I, I don't think that that's something that most of us would just think to do most of the time, like if you're not actually like talking about it in class and then doing it, I don't know that it really would occur to us. Sometimes we use that in our head without even thinking about it, but I don't know. All right, a reminder that these quotation mark, apostrophe marks represent, or another way to represent feet and inches. So this is saying six feet, three inches minus four feet, eight inches. So let's see here. Um, we're gonna need to borrow, go figure out. You probably won't need to borrow on every single problem in the workbook, but I just really wanted us to practice borrowing. Um, we need to add 12 inches to this three inches. So that's gonna make it be 15 inches. 15 inches minus eight inches is seven inches. And five minus four, five feet minus four feet is one foot. So this would be one foot, seven inches. Um, and then yards and feet. So there's three feet in a yard. We can go, okay, I need to borrow a yard, which is three feet. So that's gonna turn that into four feet. Four feet minus two feet is two feet. And then 10 minus seven is three. So voila, there we go. There's also some word problems um, in this section. So just um, be paying attention to whether you think that the words are telling you to add or subtract things like total or, you know, over time this has happened. So what, what's the end result? Those would be like addition for the most part. Um, subtraction would have to do with like, what's the difference between these two things? Um, difference or so even the word subtract would be, or minus would be things that would clue you into needing to subtract. Um, but that's the basic idea here. So, um, thanks so much for watching. Please hit the like button on the video so that I know that you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video.